Here's my little morning lineup. We've got water, some greens, vitamin C, some electrolytes I'm gonna put in my water, multivitamin from Ritual, then we have Symbiotica D3K2, and some zinc. What a lineup. For my breakfast this morning, I'm doing a little yogurt parfait. And good morning, guys. Welcome to another vlog. I'm doing some chocolate granola, or cocoa granola. Ah, I just spilled some. And then I'm gonna add a couple more strawberries. This looks delicious. I haven't had strawberries lately to use, so. Got some yesterday. Ta-da! Yum. Starting the day off with a little treadmill walk. Gonna get some check-ins done, some computer work. And I'll probably just walk at like, I think it's typically like a 2.8 to three if I had to say what my average speed is. And that seems like a good speed for me to still be able to type. Just finished my dentist appointment and now I'm headed to Bar Taco to meet my girlfriends to have a little lunch. Yeah, get that card number in there. I know, set. I was like, <laughs> we're gonna crop out the card number. We've all agreed that we hate eating places that you have to pay with your phone and order with your phone and all the things. Give us a real menu How much are you with a tip? real, I know that's the thing, is it's like, what am I, no, we'll still tip, right? We will. 20%. Is that what this is, ceviche? Ceviche. Yum. Um, and then a corn salad or something? Corn salad, and then a cucumber. We got a little bit of everything going on. Yeah, I got the onion, I got the Yeah, that looks good. I made ground turkey and rice. Yeah, yum. Went and got some bar taco with Steph, Kenzie, and Brooke, and that was after my dentist appointment. Went home, got a little bit of work done, and now I'm headed in to get my nails done. These will be the Coachella nails. So here's my before. Let's see what we go with. I let my sister choose, so I was like, okay, here are my options. This like dark green looking color. And then we have the milky white. This is probably like, um, oh, what is this? Like bubble bath and funny bunny together. Probably more funny bunny. And then the hot pink. And last one would be pink chrome. Here's the pink chrome. She's responding right now. She's like, oh, this one's hard. And then she said, I basically have that hot pink right now. So we'll see which one she decides on. But I think the hot pink will be fun um, if she decides on that because she hearted that one. So I'm thinking so. I was gonna get a pedicure, but I don't really think I have the time and this place never really does both of them at the same time. So I think I'm just gonna get my nails done and then if I have time tomorrow, Wednesday before I leave, I'll try and get my toes done as well. Okay, this can be fun. How are we feeling about the super pink nails? I think I really like them. They're fun and a little out there for me, but I figured soon I'll be doing all of my bridal trial nails, trying to figure out what color I want to do for the wedding. So I was thinking for now, let's do a couple fun colors. I'm thinking this time we'll do this and next time we'll do maybe like a pastel with chrome on top. 
I'm loving in the natural light. You can tell so much how fun of a bright, it's almost like a reddish pink. And I think it will look really good with a tan because I'm thinking I'll do a spray tan probably on Wednesday before I leave. Cause I thought I'd have a little bit more of a natural tan, but I'm thinking a spray is necessary. Here's my nighttime snack tonight. Some cereal, almond milk, and some strawberries. What, Wednesday? I'm gonna start getting ready for bed. Okay, babe. I'm gonna start getting ready for bed. I got a new thing of Clean Skin Club towels in, and I will say, this is like one of the best things I started doing for my skin. I've seen a lot of people say that they would never use like the single use washcloths and they don't see a point in them. But I truly think for the people who actually try them, they think that they're worth it because I just feel like my skin is a million times cleaner. I'm not using my towel to wash my face, to dry my face. And I like using it with some micellar water. And then I just take off my makeup. So I typically will do that if I have makeup on. I typically will do that before I shower. And then I do all of my skincare steps after the shower. That's just what my esthetician has told me. And actually my dermatologist said the same thing to me. She said that I need to be careful when I'm washing my face to not be using the same towel that I use on my body. She said to not be washing my face in the shower because it's too hot for my face when I'm doing my skincare. And I love just a micellar water. It even works to take off mascara. So personally, I think the Clean Skin Club towels are plenty worth it. I cannot get used to these nails. <laughs> it just does not even look like my hand. I'm gonna throw this hair up for my shower. I'm not washing my hair tonight, so this can go up as high as possible so I can get it wet. And then I take my ring off for the night. And I actually take off my aura ring for when I'm showering and also for when I'm doing my skincare. I'm gonna put on my Delicia Drench. This is the body butter that I use all over my body at night. And then I'm going to do my skincare on my face as well. These little things are so good for when you're doing your skincare and the water comes down. You don't get water to hold down your arms into your robe or anything. Also really good if you are a self tan, spray tan type of a girly. Next up, we're gonna go into skincare. I use this Zo Skin. I have a couple different products that I really like, but I feel like I always come back to the Zo Skin Gentle Cleanser. I love when a, when a face wash gets really foamy. I just feel like it's cleaning my face better. I don't know if that is for real, but it says massage a small amount on damp face and neck. I will say I use quite a lot, so. I probably use a little bit more than what I'm supposed to. I do feel like it washes my face so well. Face is damp. Like I probably use about the hat. I know that's like not a small amount, but. See how foamy it gets? My skin needs to clear up before Coachella. I'm over it. I'll be honest, I'm over my skin causing issues. So I'm hoping we're on the up and up.
Also, I didn't show it on camera, but I did my floss as well, and it's the cocoa floss, delicious mint. By the way, my dentist appointment today, they said that my teeth look perfect. I only had to have one sealant replaced just because after a while they need to be replaced and I had only one tooth that needed that. And the rest of it, they said looked perfect, which is always good because I stress out about dentist appointments. This is a complexion clearing mask and I honestly have not used it yet, but I'm wondering if that would be good to put on my skin right now. I think I'm gonna try it. It says clean the skin before applying this product, cover the entire targeted area with a thin layer twice a week, leave on for 10 to 15 minutes and remove with warm water, moist towels or cotton pads. Okay. Dare I do practically my entire face <laughs> because my entire face hates me right now. Okay, here is my outfit to run to Sephora. I am going there strictly, strictly. I mean, if I, oh, I wanna go put on my engagement ring really quickly. Ah, I am going to Sephora solely for glow drops. If I find something else that I absolutely have to have, okay. But mostly we just need glow drops. So I'll show you what I'm, what I'm thinking. These right here. I need these, hopefully they have them. I'm pretty proud of myself that I only got a few things. Got only what I went in there for. I am proud of myself. I got these Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Drops. Niacinamide Hue Drops is what it says. And I just did some on my hand because I have makeup on my face. Kind of hard to tell, but they seem like they're very glowy and don't feel like sticky on my skin. And then I also got a restock of the Tower 28 spray and I, I need to start using this on the planes. I normally will wear makeup on the planes, honestly, and I think this time I'm not going to because without failure, every single time I'm in a plane, I will break out. And I've seen that like if you spray this a bunch, like if, if you do it like every hour or so when you're on the plane, it helps so much with bacteria and with acne. It says soothe, purify, and renew. The happy solution for angry skin. So, got to restock on this. I only had a small bottle, I believe, last time. And I got it in Hawaii, so it's been a bit. Place your... Okay, kind of back to the drawing board when it comes to Coachella outfits. I am really, really liking this one that came in. My friend Kenzie was like, you need to try this for Coachella. And I was like, okay, you know, we'll see. I don't really have any outfits that I'm obsessed with, but I actually really like this look. I think that this is gonna be one of the options. And this is also really comfortable where I can be moving and grooving in it and not feel hot. Another option we have right here. I think this is totally Coachella vibe. I can't say I'm like, super obsessed with the fit of the skirt. I don't know if it's like too long, but then if I pull it up, like it looks a little funky and it's too loose around my waist. It's definitely an option, but I wouldn't put this as like my top three and I've only tried on two. <laughs> well, I've tried on three, you get what I'm saying. I put on another one and it's this like punk rocker type vibe and I'm still in between on it. So we'll see, I need to see like how I wanna accessorize it, but it's a matching set like this and I would wear it with my tall black boots. Totally a punk outfit. 
Another option, my mango shorts that I already have and this LPA top. I just have this on with some cowgirl boots. I think this would be more of like a casual, cute, comfortable vibe, but nothing crazy. And the beauty in having long hair is that we can kind of use my hair as an accessory and do something fun with my hair for it. This isn't anything show stopping, but I actually do like this. At first I was like, eh, this isn't doing anything for me, but I think that this is kind of a cute vibe. Cute and casual. Definitely up in the air about this one. I have so many returns to make for Coachella outfits because just really hardly anything is catching my eye and making me like so excited to wear it. Um, but this, I would want to wear some cream or some tan underwear underneath or bathing suit bottoms and, instead of white. And I think that this top goes well with this. I just am not, I don't know. I don't know if I'm sold. It's a lot of belly out. Here are the bikinis that I'm going to bring. I'm going to bring this little floral black bandeau one this cream and gold one here's the top to that and then i'm going to bring this straight across same one it's from the brand same actually all of these are and here are the bottoms i'm just going to bring three bathing suits bringing a couple extra options just because I don't even know when I'm going to be feeling the day of and I've got a couple dresses that I've just had that I haven't returned well that I just haven't worn yet and then I've returned some of the options that I decided for sure no on I'm still between on this one but this is one that I got for the honeymoon and I'm like this is totally Coachella vibes as well but I don't know if I want to save it for the honeymoon or what. We also needed a couple. Well, I just needed one, but I'm bringing a couple um, cute outfits for the first night event, which is with Sol de Janeiro. And they like when you wear fun, colorful, bright outfits for those just because it's obviously like a tropical Sol de Janeiro brand, obviously. So I have a couple green outfits that I'm actually going to bring. I feel like green is fun and tropical. I'm definitely overpacking. It's definitely. Taking a little packing break because I was trying to put together all of my outfits and we're going to do a little bike ride. All right, y'all gonna end off the vlog and I'm gonna get to reading tonight. I am reading The X by Frida McFadden and I think I'm, yeah, I'm 25% done and it's before 8 p.m. right now and so I'm ready to get going on this thing and it's just starting to get crazy right now. So, love y'all, good night.